Guys, hi. So as I promised, we're going to do a in-depth video here about the AI crypto merger that happened yesterday. It's a really serious thing. We've never had this before in crypto. We've never had three protocols come together. We've had forks. Forks is when, you know, we're going to do it this way. Screw you, we're going to do it this way. And they literally fork off and they make their own blockchain like Bitcoin Cash or Ethereum Classic, which I don't support any of those the classic, the, the original Bitcoin and the original Ether are the ones. Don't, don't, don't get sucked into that cult stuff. But, uh, you know, we've had a merger here. We've, we've had forks. We've never had a merger. This is really cool. And this is crypto innovation at its finest. So if you stick with me, not only am I going to tell you about the details about this AI crypto merger, but I am also going to tell you how you might be able to make a little bit of extra money playing some smart arbitrage. So stick with me. We're going to go in depth here with AI, with crypto, all the above, deep dive. It's a Lex Friedman level type of podcast. Here we go. So if you look at my screen here, you're going to see GPT. And I figured that it would be proper for us to start with AI as we understand it because this is a very deep topic. And I'll be honest with you, I really enjoy AI. If it wasn't for crypto, I'd probably be an AI enthusiast on, on Instagram rather than a crypto guy. Um, so, you know, AI is pretty close to my heart and, and I really love it. So GPT is, as you know, you know, the big one that shattered the glass, okay? It came out in late November 22, ironically, at the same time as FTX was melting down, GPT came out with this amazing technology that could, in human English, report back to you uh, and synthesize information at a level that no other technology ever could before. If you're not using GPT, I highly insist that you do, and I'm going to go through a little tutorial on how to use GPT. This is not crypto at this moment. I'm just talking about AI because I think it's a really awesome technology. I'm here to educate. Okay, so uh, look at my screen here. We're at GPT. You just go to GPT, uh, uh, open AI, uh, and you log in. You can do a free account, and you can do GPT 3.5, which is equally just as powerful for the everyday uh, advantage. But if you are an entrepreneur or you're somebody who's really working on the grind and you're trying to crack the next big thing, I suggest you pay the $20 a month instead of Netflix and you buy this, okay? Because this is going to produce productivity by about 10x. You can get something done in 15 minutes, what you used to do in an hour and a half. That's a 10x return, okay? And crypto is 10x returns. I like 10x returns, and I think you do too. So use GPT if you're not already, and here's how you use it. You log in, and you just set up a new chat. You'd go over here to the right-hand corner, and you go new chat, boom. And here we go. We have a new chat on GPT and you can do whatever you want. So um, we're going to say, okay, um, uh, how many trees are in Massachusetts? Now, I probably butchered that spelling, but GPT is probably smart enough to understand what I'm saying. So here we go. And it's going to give us an answer. Let's see what it says. This is live, by the way. This is recording as we go. Heavily forested, 60% of Massachusetts is in trees. Who knew that? I didn't know that. Um, it's the eighth most forested state in the country. All right, all right. your country dwellers, go to Massachusetts. Uh, didn't give us how many trees, but it gave us a percentage, and that's pretty cool. But, like, that's what this thing can do. What it can also do is, if you look over here, we have a, a IG descriptor creator. This is an insight look into my channel, okay? This is where my marketing geniuses run over uh, all the content for our Instagram channel. And they use GPT to phrase all of our content in a uh, algorithmic way. So we are using the algorithm GPT in our own algorithm. It's reverse meta. It's pretty wild. Uh, this is what this thing can do. Seriously, th th this is a really beneficial technology to society on every level. If you're an employee working for an employer, you can get your job done in probably one fifth of the time. If you're an employer trying to employ people, you can eliminate jobs by getting the job done yourself. Either way you look at it, this is efficiency. This is productivity. This is what brought America into the world in the 20th century. And this type of productivity can bring us 
back into the 21st century and beat China and beat everybody else, okay? This technology is really legendary. I love it. And more than that, what GPT is coming out with soon is GPT-5, and that's going to be an even more enhanced version of GPT-4. And then further than that, we're going to have Sora, which is the video algorithm uh gpt so that's going to be a you can type in an english language uh what you want to see in a video and it will produce a one minute video of whatever you want to see that is nuts talk about deep fake <laughs> everything on the internet will be a deep fake at that point and it's really powerful technology which is why sam altman which is the founder of ai has not released it yet he's being very cautious about this technology and then in addition open ai also has a secret project called Q. And in my opinion, it is an AGI. AGI is a very key phrase. And I want you guys to know this because this is going to be flouted around in the crypto world and it's going to be flouted around on Wall Street and it's going to be talked about even on Main Street soon enough. An AGI is an artificial general intelligence, which is Skynet or Jarvis or Ultron. I mean, pick, you know, good guy, bad guy, doesn't matter. It's a conscious, sentient AI, and we know it's coming. It's only inevitable. And I think OpenAI is close to it, and I think that's why Sam Altman almost got removed from the board, and I also think that's why Elon Musk is having a riff with Sam Altman right now. It's just my opinion. I have no fact about the matter, but make your own conclusions. So use GPT is an amazing tool. AI is not hyped. It really is going to produce trillions of value for the world economy when it comes to fruition. But to be honest, to really see AI's potential, we're going to need to see robots. We're going to need to see, you know, humanoid robots with this AGI uh, implant in order for us to really like bow down in Blade Runner kind of style for the AI that's coming. So we're a long way away from doomsday. Don't get me wrong, but AI is awesome. GPT is awesome. Please go on GPT and use it. It's a really an amazing tool. And if you're not using it right now, you're lagging behind everybody and the competition. All right. So now let's get onto the crypto portion of AI. So this is where crypto fits in to the whole story. It is the next day. It was pretty late when we were recording that first part, but I'm excited to give you the second and most important part of this video here. We're going to go through the uh, blockchain protocols individually, the three of them, uh, and go into a little bit about what they do, what they're specializing in, because each one does have a niche. Uh, most blockchains, or at least good protocols, they do have a niche, right? That's kind of the point. Uh, you can't have a blockchain just for everything. Uh, Ethereum's trying to be the everything blockchain, and we can see a lot of the issues with that. Uh, so these three AI protocols are individually aiming at different verticals in the market, and we're going to go through that right now along with their respective token. So Singularity, we're going to start with Singularity Net, okay? Singularity is kind of a middle market, meaning it's not really for enterprise or consumers. I think it's for both. Uh, really, it's for small businesses uh, and entrepreneurs who do want to kind of start their own DAP. And mo you, it seems to be that most of the uh, DAPs that are on here are you know, full-on startup companies. Uh, I wouldn't say this is somebody in their basement you know, making us. AI smart contract. This is probably you have some VCs maybe behind these projects here because you do have, uh, for example, this is uh, data with clinics and researchers that can go a long way in the complicated medical field that I know nothing about, but I know that uh, the medical industry is is quite convoluted. Uh, we also have some other options here, like uh, there's a bio lab, and that costs a lot of money. You can't just start up a bio lab without any VC funding. Cogito, this is uh, another, there's many now finance platforms out there that are tokenizing assets. Uh, here's one uh, on Singularity. And then we can go down, there's even um, a, a music company here. So this is what Singularity does. This is their token, just so you can uh, see it. It's AGIX, not to be confused with ASI, which is the new token. This is AGIX. It is Singularity's current token. This token will be replaced um, 
by ASI at a ratio of 0.43335. I'll say that again. This coin is going to be replaced by ASI in a uh, ratio of 0.43335 to 1, meaning that 0.43335 or 43% uh, of whatever you're holding in AGIX that value will be turned into uh, ASI. You're not going to lose money in that swap, okay? You're not losing money. It's simply the price of this coin is going to be respectively handed over at a 43% ratio per coin. It's very similar to a stock split, okay? If anybody uh, trades equity markets or knows about equity markets, this is very similar to a stock split when companies either reverse split or split their shares, um, or they go into a merger and two companies join and, and, and get the same stock at a certain ratio. This is a very common uh, finance thing, and obviously blockchain is taking it, and why not, right? Just because we're evolutionizing TradFi doesn't mean we have to completely abolish all those rules. Those were those rules work really well. Um, so I'm glad that crypto is taking this kind of more uh, common sense approach. All right, so that's Singularity. Let's go to the next one is Ocean Protocol. Um, Ocean Protocol is more of the retail market. These guys really are trying to go after the guy in their basement who's trying to make a smart contract or some kind of dap. The four big areas that uh, Ocean Protocol works with is they have an AI bot to predict uh, trading. And frankly, I'm going to start researching that. And if I get any cool cracks, I'll obviously let you guys know. Data farming rewards. Uh, so you can put your rewards into Ocean, just like proof of stake in Ethereum. And you help curate data. You can help predict data. You can help train AI because AI needs training. Just like little humans, when they grow up, you got to teach them everything. AI is the same way as we're approaching in real or close to real intelligence here and potential consciousness, you have to develop it, right? It's a very tender thing. I mean, we're going to go off into a, uh, a intellectual tirade here. So let's keep going. <laughs> and then you can do data challenges. So those really smart guys in the room who are really, really good with numbers, better than I am with numbers, go ahead and do some data challenges. You'll earn some rewards. Uh, there's competitions. It's probably good for the resume, good for the LinkedIn experience, and you can earn some tokens. And then you can, of course, build and build a dApp uh, and build APIs in JavaScript or Python through Ocean Token. And again, this is really for the individual builder um, I don't think enterprise level uh, companies are coming to these guys. Ocean Protocols token. It's going to look very similar to Singularities. By coincidence, the price is pretty close. Uh, this is trading a little bit lower uh, at $1.34. Singularity was around $1.40. Um, and this is also going to be converted in a very, very similar ratio to Singularity when they converted to ASI. The ratio is going to be. 0.433226. I'll say that again. 0.433226. Or again, 43% of this token will be converted into ASI. Your dollar value will be the same, but the number of tokens that you receive, you're going to receive 43% less of them. Okay. Um, so that's what's happening in Ocean Protocol. And now let's go to what I consider to be the, the main story here or the big protocol. So this is Fetch AI. Fetch AI is on the enterprise level. These guys are trying to get current businesses. And what they're specializing in is wrapping current APIs in the TradFi Web2 world to work with DeFi AI via an API. Let's say that again. So first of all, APIs, if you don't know what they are, you would use an API, for example, if you're setting up a trading algorithm, you would get an API to connect to the main exchange, your algo would be running, it'd be getting the live data, and it would tell the orders of what to do via the API, like a highway, it would tell what to do in the exchange, while your uh, more powerful algorithm is running um, the live numbers and trying to decide on trades. Um, businesses use APIs all the time. Okay. If um, you're in your office and you guys use Salesforce or you're going to be using data from uh, Amazon's cloud, there will be an API in there to uh, bridge that data highway. I'm not a computer science guy. I might have butchered that. If I did, leave the comments in a nice way. 
educate me and the audience as to what I might have slightly missed on or would appreciate it. Uh, but these guys are working on the enterprise level to essentially help merge your traditional finance or your traditional company web two type of software with these guys are obviously on blockchain and they're in DeFi, but more than that, they are um, also doing AI. So they want to get APIs that are currently existing in Web2 smart and on the blockchain, which is – those are two really big leaps. Uh, I don't know how well they're doing this. I'd like to learn more. If anybody does know more about Fetch AI's um, – uh, process so far and how far they've gone along and major things they're breaking through with please again mention on the comments i'd love to do some research and dig further with this but the reason fetch ai here is a big deal and actually let's go to the coin first sorry i'm jumping ahead so this is fetch ai coin it's f-e-t okay and f-e-t just like the other ones is going to be converted into this singular token called a-s-i however fet is going to be swapped one for one. So if you have 100 tokens on FET, they're going to become 100 tokens on ASI, okay? So a much easier um, ratio and change. You don't really have to worry about it. If you're already in FETCH, I wouldn't do anything. I would just leave everything as it is, maybe buy a little more because of this really big news. I think these guys are going to be extremely bullish throughout the bull market. You have a narrative of AI and Bitcoin. You literally cannot put a bigger headline clickbait headline together at this moment um, in the business world than crypto AI. And nonetheless, here it is. Um, now, here's the arbitrage opportunity that I was alluding to. There is a very small one. I'm not going to get your hopes up here. You're not going to be making millions of dollars. But because Fetch AI has a fixed one-for-one -one range and Singularity and Ocean Protocol are both only 43% of the transfer ratio. What you can do is if Fetch AI is overpriced or mispriced too far, there is a opportunity to buy Singularity or Ocean and you can buy more Singularity and more Ocean. And when the transfer happens on April 7th, when this vote comes and they change it to ASI, you might end up with a few percent higher ASI by buying Ocean Protocol and Singularity than if you just held on to Fetch. I'll say that again. Because of the price discrepancies and the fixed ratios, there is a chance you could do a small 1% to 5% arbitrage, risk-free. Uh, if you buy Singularity and Ocean Protocol at the right moment, you will probably receive a few percentage more ASI that way than just buying on FET. Again, how does this make sense? Well, I have a formula here, but think about it, right? Ocean and uh, Singularity are both about half the price of this, a little less than half the price. So you can buy two lots of that. And if um, they are just slightly overpriced between, the spread between them is slightly overpriced, that's where the R will come in. Here is the equation for Singularity. It's the same thing with Ocean Protocol, but I'll show you both. Okay, this is the equation for singularity. You have the arbitrage will equal the price of singularity over the price of FET times a conversion ratio of 0.43335. And the same thing is going to happen with ocean. It's just ocean, and it's a very slightly less ratio. I mean, by, by hundreds of bips, it's by tens of ones of bips, it's smaller. It, it's barely nothing. Um, that's not the arbitrage. The arbitrage isn't the difference in the ratios. The arbitrage is the difference in price between FET, which is the constant, and AGIX and or Ocean. Comprende? Okay. I hope so. Um, I think this is a really interesting subject. Honestly, seriously. I think AI is something that we really can't... Um, we can't undersell because it, it's really going to change the world. Uh, not overnight. And probably not the way we're expecting, but we can have a whole podcast on just AI and certain areas of AI. So I'm going to stop myself here. However, I hope you found this interesting. I hope you learned a little bit more about this uh, big merger. You know, and what you're seeing here, guys, with this news, this is blockchain as it happens. This is crypto in live time. And if you follow this industry day in and day out, so much happens. So much happens. Uh, and it's all being innovative. It's all, you know, we're moving forward. This is new technology. All these three protocols are, are brand new technology. We, we've never put 
AI and the blockchain. We've had AI bots for a while. We've had GPT for two years. We've never had AI in the blockchain. That's interesting. Just as a side note, understanding how blockchains work and how AI works, I don't think AI is going to be on the blockchain. I think AI is probably going to run like uh, an EVM separate from uh, the main protocol making quick decisions, but the data management and data flow of using that AI is probably going to be uh, in the blockchain. So it, uh, you're not going to have Skynet, you know, on the blockchain. It's going to be more so the economy of that AI um, and, and that micro economy within these protocols and the cryptoverse and how that will efficiently operate. Okay. Uh, but still it's awesome stuff. Like I think GPT, if GPT were to tokenize, uh, some aspect of it, I think it'd be even more successful and maybe that's a road they'd, they'd go down. I don't know. Sam never mentioned anything about that, but I think it'd be a cool area. And these guys are stepping in to do that. And the bottom line too, folks, is that these guys are coming together. The protocols are all going to remain live. Fetch, Singularity, Ocean. You can go to Ocean after April 7th. Ocean Protocol, the webpage, is still going to be here. I'm going to be messing with this, with this thing tonight. Uh, this is not going to go away. These protocols are going to stay as they are, as independent. The difference is ASI token is going to be used on all three of them, and they're gonna, all of them going to come together for a consensus mechanism, which means that the leaders of all three companies are now going to be essentially on one board. Uh, so think of it as three sub companies under one kind of parent company. That's the way they're structuring this. So they're all operating independently still. They're all going to specialize, which is the smart thing to do. But again, it's just the consensus protocol is going to be under one board. And the consensus is for the whole community, right? The whole community on Ocean Protocol, all the wallet holders, all the people who are data farming and doing the rewards program and doing these data challenges and running AI prediction bots, they're going to be able to make this vote. And it's a democratization of finance and AI. And it's getting AI away from the big guys like Apple or Google or heck, open AI. Yeah, you know, they talk about wanting to be, you know, nonprofit and doing the right thing. And I I believe to a point, you know, it's hard to argue with being the most successful company overnight. It really is. Uh, and a lot of people are gonna want a piece of that pie and Sam's fighting them off. And in the effort to fight them off, he might have to make some deals with the devil. That's unfortunately a consequence of doing successful business. So this kind of saves us from that potential, you know, Blade Runner type of dystopian future, maybe making this a little more accessible to the everyday guy. All right, that's it for now. Tune in next time for our next piece.